Well, it's not a nice morning. Wind's down at the moment. We'll pick up a little bit later. Always does. But right now we're going to go out and we're going to go and check some pots. We're going to do half a dozen pots and then we're going fishing. So I'll see you out there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move I'm going to move my gear slowly back to shore or towards shore bring it in from the deeps because we're getting to that time of year if the weather suddenly turns I don't want to do a last minute rush we'll not be able to get to it so bit by bit we'll start pulling stuff back in Go a little brown crowds, probably legal, but we're not going to take that. Spider crab. That's it. Three days. Three days worth. Another reason to bring the pots back in slowly. It's only got small claws, but it might actually be legal this one. Let me check. Yeah, that's actually a legal lobster. Probably keep that one myself. It's only got a small claw and a decent one. Yep. One legal lobster. Up over there. We're all down this coast now.
one's done well. We changed this neck, if you remember rightly, we changed it to a square one because you get a bigger angle on a square than you do on a circle plate for something to get in. Well, it seems to have paid off for the first test. It's got that one, which is a nice large one. For this pot, anyway. And it's got that one, another large one. So this square neck seems to be well, for the first, first drop, could be just luck, but it's looking good. Right. Just put these down first. Oh, pleased with that. The reason I changed it to a square because the, the round one was rocking a bit in this pot. It was a little bit loose. So the square one I thought would stay more stable and sure enough it seems to be working. Right. in your eyes but there it is <laughs> I'm not gonna mess around it's gonna get this one I let it go there because the hook was getting close to the eye so I didn't want to lift it out and have it flapping around. But he's alright. Now I wasn't going to check these but I will do them because I won't be out for a few days and as you may be able to hear the wind is starting to build a little bit so we're going to do this, go to another set and then head in. That'll be too small. And that'll be too small, I think. The 
wind got up out there, so it got a bit choppy and the tide's coming up, so I need to get off the mooring before it gets a bit more complicated. So as I may have mentioned, I did a couple of pots on the way in. And I didn't bother putting the cameras on for it because it was, the wind had picked up. I just wanted to get back before the tide, so. But there's what we caught in the way of lobsters. We've got our five lobster. And they're not bad size ones either. They're all well over the size. And then we had our crab, which is in here. This is the one we had, it's quite close in. And let's see if we can get a size on it. Or a rough size, without him getting hold of the tape measure. So you've got 17, near enough 17. Where it should be. Yeah, about 17. Maybe 16 and a half, 17, somewhere in there. So it's about an inch over the size. But it's a male one. So it's got a decent set of claws on it. But that's about the sort of minimum you really want to get something out of them. Smaller ones that you can take are just a bit pointless. Anyway, it was... It was, it was an okay trip. Yeah. And of course we had the bass. Um, we've got one bass, which is in the kitchen, going to be cut up in a minute. And all the others were put back. So not a bad little trip this morning.